Hey everyone, Scott Brown here with day seven, not six, but day seven of Darren LaCroix's 90 day Facebook Live Challenge. And I've been reflecting today on this past year and something that I've done this past year that I think was really important to think about. And I said, every time that I've spoken at a conference this year, I've started with a question. It's a simple question. It's one that I don't know how many times you've thought of, but I ask everyone, how, um, how many times do you remember when you worked for a bad boss? And everybody raises their hand because everybody has a bad boss story that they want to share. But then I ask a follow-up question. Okay, it's great. Everybody remembers what it felt like to work for a bad boss. But how many of you remember the last time that you were a bad boss? And I'm shocked by how often every hand in the room goes down and all the eyes start staring at the floor. See, we all know what it feels like to work for a bad boss. And statistics show that most of us either have just worked for a bad boss or are working for a bad boss right now. But nobody really pays attention to what it is that we do that might make other people regard us as that bad boss. And why is that? The easy answer is that we're just not aware, but it's a little bit more complicated to that. The biggest reason why people have the misconnection between when they are a bad boss and when they remember working for a bad boss is that we tend to judge ourselves against our intentions, but we tend to judge other people against their actions. Let me say that again. We all tend to judge ourselves against our intentions, but we judge other people against their actions. And we might mean to do well, but sometimes we don't do good. And our people can see that. But that leaves us this gap, this huge gap that exists between what we meant to do and what we actually did. And to fill that gap, to narrow that gap so that our intentions and our actions align and we stop being that example of what not to be at work, well, it takes us to be able to align what we do with what we say and what we value. Because think about the last time you worked for somebody that said one thing and did something else. Or you could see on their facial expressions that they just did not believe the words that were coming out of their mouth. Or their actions were just completely contradictory to who you knew they were as a person. How often did you trust them? How much did you feel like you were just a pawn in some game? And unfortunately, that happens to way too many people way too often that we become the victims of other people's misalignment between what they do, what they say, and what they value. And we lose energy within that realm. And in order for us to be able to narrow that gap to find the engagement to be able to unlock the potential and the power of other people we have to learn how to align what we do with what we say and who we are because no matter where we go we're going to always be there and our people are always going to be looking at us at all times if we are in a position of authority they're going to be looking at us for the example to set and they want to know do we really believe what we're telling people do we really believe what we're asking them to do or are we just a mouthpiece for some other corporate environment? The greatest leaders out there aren't the ones that are in a position because they want to be in charge. The most effective leaders, the most passionate leaders, the most telling leaders are the ones that are able to help people because they know that their calling is to look after the people who are in their charge. And Simon Sinek has said that a lot over the past few years, but I can't say it enough that Leadership is not about our title or our position. Leadership is about what we do. And the way to lead other people is really simple. In theory, you just align what you do with what you say and who you are. But it's complicated and actually bringing that to life every day. So as we get ready to celebrate Christmas, we get ready to end this year, I want you to ponder, how many times have you been somebody else's bad boss and you don't know it? How many times... Have you been that example of what not to do at work because you had misalignment in your communication? As we end this year, I want you to 
Picture all of those people who you worked for that you didn't want to be. And then ask yourself, if your people were to paint that same picture, how many times are you in their thoughts? Leadership is a privilege. It's all about what we do. It's not about our name tags. We can learn to be leaders. But first, we have to learn that sometimes, in order to do well, we have to do good. And we always have to be able to narrow that gap between what we intend to do and what we actually do. Learn to bring alignment into your life. People are going to follow you. Everyone have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow on Christmas Eve.